It is a last supper of sorts for Karnal Akhma's residents, who along with activists and supporters are waiting out the hours, days, weeks, no one knows how long, before the Israeli authorities send in the bulldozers. The feeling is indescribable, the uncertainty, the instability, the threats of the occupation, the fear of the children and the women, the situation in this community is miserable. It's very painful, what could be worse than losing your land? It's very difficult. You may see this land as a desert, but for us Bedouin, it's life. They destroy, we rebuild. We either live with pride over our land or we die. The almost 10-year-long legal battle to save Khan al akma has drawn support from across the world and closer to home. Combatants for Peace is an Israeli-Palestinian group that feels increasingly isolated in this country. To me, I think the situation in Israel in the last few years has deteriorated to a state. To, to, we have to have support, national, international uh, support, uh, groups inside the Israeli uh, society that in the past were accepted and, and uh, respected today are being attacked. And I'm here because um, I think that, you know, I like the phrase, you know, none are free until we all are, I think is something that I like to live by. When the bulldozers do move in, they'll be clearing the way for the expansion of illegal Israeli settlements that will eventually cut through the occupied West Bank. Several major European countries have tonight again asked Israel not to go ahead with the demolitions, referring particularly to the 70 years that the Palestinian Bedouins have called this area home. But the only official Israeli reaction there's ever been since the Supreme Court ruling came down was from Defence Minister Avidor Lieberman, and he said, no one will prevent us exercising our sovereignty. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Khan al-Akhmer.